This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to grow your business online. What's up, dude? A while back, I flew out to Miami to have a steak cook-off with the mighty Guga Foods. Basically, he cooked his steak on the grill and I cooked mine in a pan and finished it with a butter base. And let me tell you something, this sparked a huge debate in the comments on pan-fried versus grilled steaks. So I went back to the drawing board and thought to myself, why not combine the best of both worlds and make a steak that has all the benefits of the grill and the pros of butter basting. Today, we're combining the best of two methods to make maybe be one of the best steaks ever. And as always, there is no time to waste. Now let's go. As a little bonus to this video, I'm going to be comparing rosemary salt to Guga's new barbecue seasoning just to see how those two differ. I actually just ran out of rosemary salt and I need to make a new batch. Here's how you do it. Just add some kosher salt into a food processor or blender and then simply strip some rosemary leaves off the stem and add it in as well as some sage leaves picked off the stem, some peeled garlic and finally some lemon zest. Then all you do is blend this up for one minute and boom, your rosemary salt is done. Simply store it in your fridge and it will literally last for months. Although I try to use it up within about three weeks for optimal freshness. And much like Guga's seasoning, this rosemary salt is one of those things that's good on absolutely everything. Maybe not ice cream, but, but pretty much everything. Here I have two identical prime ribeye steaks, and one of them is just gonna get the famous homemade rosemary salt that we just made, as well as some of Sergeant Gilbert's insides, which is just black pepper. And the other one is getting Guga's all-purpose barbecue rub. Simple as that, my friends. Phase one of this steak process is to take them outside and get a nice char on the grill. To do that, I'm gonna start by lighting up some lump charcoal with my incredible gun flamethrowers that I love so much. If anybody's a psycho like me and wants their own flamethrower, there is a 10% discount through the link down in the description. I'm also cooking these on the slow and sear grill, which is the grill Guga told me to buy. If Guga tells me to buy a grill, that's the one I'm gonna get. There will be a link for that down in the description if you wanna check it out. Amazing grill so far, I've loved it. And all I wanna do with my steaks is cook them on the grill until they hit 90 degrees Fahrenheit internal. That's 32 degrees Celsius. As well as get a nice heavy char on the steaks, I wanna get that sear outside on the grill and not inside in the pan. I'll explain more about that in a minute. And once that's done, the steaks are now ready for phase two, which as you all know, is one of my favorite things in the world and that's butter basting. If you've been looking for a great place to build your brand and your business online, then your search is over because Squarespace really is the service for you. Squarespace makes it easy for chefs and creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can literally unlock a whole new revenue stream for your business. And you can sell access to gated content, video classes, online courses, and newsletters. It really is a new way to get intimate with your audience while also monetizing in the process. Pretty cool. You can also take advantage of Squarespace's scheduling features. It's a huge Huge plus because your clients can now quickly view your availability and book their own reservations, appointments, or classes. You can also use Squarespace to start building up your mailing list, which is a super important aspect of what we do. Simply just collect email addresses through your website so you will have another way to communicate and send out information to your subscribers. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash that you can cook to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace is awesome and now back to the video. Of course, if you want to just take a pan outside and do this over the grill, you can do that as well. I'm just doing it inside because it's better for filming. I'm starting with a medium heat pan and a little bit of neutral oil. Dropping in some cut shallots, that's just a half shallot and some crushed garlic with the peels on. And after about 45 seconds, when those are nice and brown, I'm gonna turn the heat down to low and drop in some cold unsalted butter. Now when I'm basting, I always like to tilt the pan back like you see me doing right here because that butter will burn really quick and we want it to brown and not burn. You can get those aromatics in there. I don't have any herbs on hand today, but if you want, you can put some fresh thyme, you can put rosemary, you can put sage. Now you can see here the butter is starting to foam. This is when we want to put the steak in, not before, not after. Here we go, steak over here on the top, pan back and baste. Oh my God, that is always, always exciting. Perfect temperature on the butter, just keep that heat low, keep on basting. And when you're basting steak, you gotta pull it at a lower temperature because it's gonna carry over cook way more. If I was cooking a steak normally without basting, I'd pull it at 125 Fahrenheit, but with basting, I pull it at like 115 even, and it will carry up to a perfect 135 medium rare. Keep that in mind, it's pretty important, it's something nobody ever talks about. There we go, just about two minutes of basting, and we get it out to rest. And I just follow the exact same process with the other steak using the same butter in the same pan. And here we go, time to slice into the rosemary salt steak. Oh, look at that. Woo! Well, that couldn't be any more perfect, my friends. It feels so freaking tender too. And here we go with the steak with Guga seasoning. Oh my gosh. Another beautiful medium rare, my friends. This thing looks insane. I'm ready to give it a taste. Upon slicing into these things, they just feel so unbelievably tender. Grilled for that incredible smoky flavor and then butter basted with garlic and shallots. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm really hungry, here we go. 
Mm. <laughs> That's game over. That's the best egg they ever made. That was Guga's seasoning, absolutely excellent. And you know, I've tried a lot of like all purpose barbecue rubs. I'm not working with Guga, he's not paying me to do this. That's a really good rub. That's one of the best ones I've ever tried, if not the best. But you know how I feel about rosemary salt. Mm, mm. Stop it, dude. If you haven't made rosemary salt and you watch this channel, that should have been the first thing you did. That steak is absolutely freaking phenomenal. 10 out of 10, incredible. I mean, if you're more of a barbecue guy, you might prefer Guga's. If you love those flavors of rosemary, sage, and garlic, that kind of holiday taste, then you're definitely gonna prefer rosemary salt. They're both great for different reasons. There you go, that's rosemary. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Little butter over here, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah, honestly. They're both so damn good. Make it. Make it. Now it may be a little bit of extra work to take it off the grill early and baste it in a pan, but let me tell you something, the result isn't something you're soon gonna forget. These are phenomenal, insane. This is definitely worth a shot, my friends, and until next time, you know I love you in a mouth.